Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the second video in this series on LCD screens and Arduino. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to set up your LCD with Arduino. Now, it happens to be extremely easy, but there are a couple things that I wish I would have known going into it that were extremely frustrating as I was trying to set up the circuit. Here's really the bottom line, how these LCDs are set up. They're all rather standard. There's 16 pins associated with these screens. Um, mine's numbered, my pin 16 is here, and pin 1 is there, so it's 1, 2, 3, but they're not numbered. Um, so you just have to know, actually 16's numbered and 1's numbered on the PCB, but um, the ones in between aren't numbered, so you have to kind of count. That's kind of a little bit of pain in the butt, but you'll you figure it out as you go. So you'll notice on my uh, on my LCD screen, I've got 16 rows up here or pads up here and 16 pads down here, and actually there you can imagine them as the exact same pad and because they actually are connected to the same pin on this LCD. But what that allows for is if it starts getting really busy up here with connections, then instead of having to use all the connections up here, I could use a couple down here. So, I mean, let's say I had an enclosure that you know I was going to put this in and I didn't have a lot of space up here. Maybe I had enough space for one or two wires. Well, then I could use the other wires down here. And it's, like I said, it's almost the, you can imagine it is the exact same pad. Okay, and then these pads are what you connect. You use a wire and you can connect them to the pins on your Arduino. And that's what we're going to get ready to do here shortly. We'll talk about how to set them up. Now, I just want to make a quick point. So, um, mine, it's really nice that I've got this top and this bottom because I wanted to use alligator clips like this to set my circuit up first as I did prototyping. But you'll notice with alligator clips how close those contacts get. And if you don't have a nice steady connection, then the output on your LCD is going to get garbled. So you will learn very quickly that you can display Japanese on these LCDs because the signal that comes through is going to be all funky and it's going to look really weird. You know, I, try, I had some thin alligator clips and I had some fat alligator clips. I tried to use as many thin as I could. And then I also, I even used this um, hookup down here which really isn't even supposed to be used for this type of thing, but it had a small, a nice small connection wire, so I was trying to use that, but it just didn't stick to the PCB very well. So for the rest of these tutorials, I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and solder in uh, wires in the necessary places, because using the alligator clips, like I said, it was just... I, I didn't have a really good connection uh, to the Arduino and it just it got to the point where I was getting frustrated so I thought you know what why don't I just go ahead and solder it uh, make my life a little easier now if you don't have a soldering iron you know I w it's not impossible I totally was able to get it to work with some alligator clips but my recommendation is just get some really thin nosed alligator clips if you can um, so that was kind of my solution I mean I suppose you could uh, especially with a spacing like this you could solder on some pin headers um, and kind of take care of that but for me I'm just going to solder wires right to that thing so in this in the future videos that's how you'll see me setting setting this up but now let's go ahead and take a look at the schematic of how this is actually set up to your Arduino you know what what wire goes to what pin on your Arduino to set up an LCD well you're going to need a liquid crystal display now the one I'm hearing using here is a 16 column two row LCD and it is Hitachi HD 44780 uh, type alright so it is compatible with that chipset so you might be wondering wow that's is this really specific can I only get a couple of these like this well the truth is these type of LCDs are everywhere alright and a dead giveaway if it's going to be compatible is if it has a 16 pin pinout so if there's 16 little solderable pads on it or 16 little pins depending on the type of module you buy, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to be Hidachi HD 44780 compatible. All right, so that's kind of your um, that's kind of your giveaway. If you if it's got 16 pins, you're going you're probably going to be good there. And they come in all, you know, it doesn't have to just be a 16 by 2, it can be a 40 by 2, it can be a whatever by whatever. Um, it doesn't matter, and that's what's really cool about the library, too, is that it will work with all these different types. All right, so you need an LCD. You're going to need a 10K ohm potentiometer. You'll need a breadboard. 
you'll need an Arduino. I use the Arduino Uno. Uh, revision 3, you can use just about any Arduino board out there, will work fine. And you're going to need a ton of jumper wires, probably at least 23. And again, if you recall from what I said at the beginning, if you're not going to solder the wires onto your LCD module, you'll need alligator clips. And ideally, you want to get really narrow alligator clips. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the full kind of schematic all right let's take a look at this and man you know that kind of when you look at that it's really busy and it gets just a little confusing I mean if you sit here and stare at that you can set your circuit up there's no question but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of walk us through step by step how we get to this this schematic so the first thing we're gonna do is hook up our power so we're gonna take five volts from the Arduino board and we're gonna connect it to the power rail on our breadboard and then you can see from the breadboard now we suck off that 5 volt power rail and we take it to one side of the potentiometer which you also want to put on your breadboard and then you put it on the second pin on your LCD module so remember the LCD pins are going to be labeled from 1 to 16 so when I say pin 2 I'm talking about the second pin on your uh, LCD module. Now those may or may not be labeled. All right. Likely you'll have at least one number on there so you'll know where number one is. Um, so when I when I reference that pin number on the LCD I'm talking about 1 through 16. So that second pin on the LCD that's what's going to be taking power. So after you've done that now you can hook up uh, your grounds. All right. So you take the ground from your Arduino and you hook it up to the ground rail on your breadboard and then your potentiometer you're going to hook up uh, the other the other far side to ground and then on your LCD display you take the first and the fifth pins on the LCD and connect that to ground moving on from there now we take the third pin and connect that to the center of the potentiometer and what this potentiometer is actually going to allow us to do is adjust the brightness on our LCD display, which is kind of cool. Our next step is to take the fourth pin and connect that to pin 12 on your Arduino. And then you're going to take the sixth pin on the LCD and connect that to pin 11. So all the stuff that we've hooked up so far, this none of this is really sending data to your LCD screen. All of this is kind of setting up when does the LCD write, when does the LCD read, uh, how do we get power to the LCD, stuff like that. That's what's going on on this side on pins one through six on your LCD module. Now the other, we're going to have four more wires that we attach and these other four wires are going to be the data lines that are going to be sending information going to your LCD. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Now I've set the wires up these connections, I set them up kind of crazy because I want to emphasize to you what pin they go to on the Arduino. So we'll show them and then what we'll do is we'll come back to the original schematic. So pin 14 on your LCD will be connected to pin 2 on your Arduino. And pin 13 on your LCD will be connected to pin 3 on your Arduino. And pin 12 on your LCD will get connected to pin 4 on your Arduino. And finally, pin 11 on your LCD will be connected to pin 5 on your Arduino. Now, it's, I know it's really kind of confusing to look at, so let's go ahead and come back to the first schematic, kind of lays it out a little more, a little more organized fashion. But, so if you, if you haven't hooked it up yet and you want to go hook it through, what I do is recommend kind of go back to where we start showing from the beginning, pause the video, kind of set that up, move forward, pause it again at each step of the way and make sure you got your connection set up and you should be good to go. And then once you, once that's done and set, you're gonna be set. So what you'll do is you'll plug your Arduino into your computer and it'll power up and then what, what you, the first test you're gonna to wanna to do is to turn your LCD all the way one way and all the way the other and see what the brightness on your LCD display does. All right, well, that's really pretty simple, uh, generally speaking. I mean, this is you know, there's a lot of wires to connect, but overall, that's what it takes to connect your LCD to your Arduino. All right, I hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next tutorial.